how many people across New England are thinking about loved ones who spent their entire lives rooting for the Boston Red Sox, wishing one day they would see them win the World Series. Generations have passed in New England. With Red Sox fans not seeing a World Series championship for their beloved Boston Red Sox. Back to full. Red Sox fans have longed to hear it. The Boston Red Sox are world champions. And I know they haven't won a World Series in a long time here, but I never thought how important it was and how serious and how fanatic people were about this organization until I got caught into the mix. For over a century, Red Sox fans endured more loss than triumph, winning the first World Series in 1903, a dynasty in the next decade, then selling Babe Ruth to their rival Yankees giving them a new dynasty in New York and beginning an 86-year championship drought in Boston. Legendary players like the likes of Ted Williams and beloved teams all fell short. Boston, 2002. A city is transforming. The Red Sox wrapping things up here in 2002 on September the 29th. The Red Sox finish a distant second to the rival Yankees and miss the playoffs. A new ownership group is determined to build a dynasty. Sometimes things are more interesting during the offseason at times, and this one will be one of those. A thousand miles away in Minnesota. One, two pitch. He struck him out. 26-year-old designated hitter and sometimes first baseman David Ortiz finishes the 2002 season and is soon to be released. Ortiz is out! Talk about being robbed! In his native Dominican Republic, Ortiz plays winter ball, unsure about his future. He unexpectedly runs into Red Sox ace and countryman Pedro Martinez at a restaurant. Pedro was the reason why I'm here. He asked me how things are going, and I told him, hey, I just got released a couple of days ago by the Twins. As he was getting released, I was like, great. And Gabe, he's like, they screwed up. You know that, right? Now I get a chance to take you to Boston. He picked up his phone, and he called Larry. Um, Larry Lucchino. Hey, Larry, there's a player right here that uh, you definitely want to sign. Let me tell you. He told Larry straight up this right here. I had never seen a big guy with quicker hands than this guy right here. David Ortiz has gone deep for the 15th time. On January 22, 2003, Ortiz signs with Boston, and in a Dominican clubhouse, he gives his first interview as a member of the Red Sox. We have a lot of good players. It's a team that is getting ready to fight, you know. Fight, play against the Yankees, trying to win a World Series. The city David Ortiz joined in 2003 was forever in the shadow of the Bronx Bomber Yankees, an enduring generations without a baseball championship. Some call it the curse of the Bambino. When you come new to a team, you're not going to try to do too much. You're just going to uh, try to help the most you can and, and, and what you know how to do. But as the season begins, Ortiz is a part-timer, giving little indication that Fenway Park would become his longtime home and a new era was underway. Ortiz for the season, though, is hitting just 188. It all started back in Anaheim when we were on the road, and he had a game-winning home run. It's well hit out there in the left field. Going back is Anderson. It is gone. It's right into the Angels' bullpen. Things didn't quite pan out right in the beginning, but then after he hits the game-winning homer at night and... In, uh, in L.A., opposite field. Boston on top. They lead it 5-4. to four. And that was about the, the point where David had enough. And so basically, they got to trade me. And uh, you, you just saw this. It's like this chip on his shoulder that, like, you know what? I got to prove that I'm great. His first home run as a member of the Red Sox. I remember I told my agent, hey, if you're here for breakfast tomorrow, you're fired. And he was there that night. 
And he was like, what's going on? I'm like, well, you know, I want to have a meeting with the GM tomorrow, and I'm not, I want to ask him to either release me or trade me or do something with me because I'm better than all those guys that he have out there playing. The Red Sox made a major trade after months of speculation. The team makes changes, and Ortiz becomes a regular. He starts to catch fire in clutch moments, tormenting opposing pitchers. Towards the wall, it is up, and it is gone! David Ortiz with his second home run of the night puts the Red Sox on top, 5-4 to four in the 10. What really convinced me about David was those moments where we, re we really needed someone to click and David continued to consistently kill the opposition and, and that's when I realized how special he was because David has that aura for the big moment. Fair ball and the Red Sox win the ball game.